Hey, I'm back. This is Chandler for Melder Production, and today I'm going to show you how you can use M Drummer to create polyrhythms, odd meters, and even polymeters. So let's get started. So the first thing I want to show is how you can do odd meters in in M Drummer. So here, I, this is just like the opening page of M Drummer. Let's just look at the drum set editor here. So this is just normal drum set normal drum sounds. Let's go into the rhythm editor here. So first, before we get into the odd meter stuff, let me just make a quick 4-4 uh, four, four beat. So let's just do this, have the bass drum on two, or sorry, one and three, and the snare drum on two and four. And then let's just do something with the hi-hats here. Like this. I have this on beat C here, just for convenience. Uh, let me you can double click here and highlight these. I might want to turn these down a bit. Just like that. Now let's hear this. Okay, so that seems cool. It's a normal 4-4 beat, but let's say I want to make this into a 7-8 beat. So I want to take one of the eighth notes out. So if you look in here where it says time signature, you can look and you're like, okay, there's lots of different options here, but they're all in four. So how do I make that seven, eight beat? So let's actually move this over to another one so I can com compare them later. Let's copy this, just this button here. Let's move over to B. Now I'm gonna paste it. Okay, as you see here, we have the same thing on A and B now. Now to change this to seven, eight, what we're gonna do is just change it to seven, four here. You're thinking like, okay, what? What is going on? It looks a bit different, but you see it's spread everything out. So now if we think of this as uh, these big lines instead of quarter notes, which they were before, think of them as eighth notes. So we have here, uh, this would be an eighth note, uh, and I probably need to redo this. Let me erase this for a second. Here we go. Erase, 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 erase. So we'll do the same thing where we put this on here. This would be the four for snare drum. This would be the three, and this would be the four. So we have our snare drums and we have our bass. Actually, let me highlight those and make those a little bit louder here. Just highlight and then there we go. Now, bring in the hi-hats. So just like before, put them here, put an open hi-hat there. Okay, but if you play it, you'll, you'll say like, hey, those are still, you know, quarter notes. So that's not good. So to change this into eighth notes, which is what we want to do, all we need to do is go into here where it says rhythm processing and hit double speed. And so now we only have one thing in our loops box, but generally this will work on all of them at the same time. So you can check out the difference between double speed, double pattern speed, double tempo feel. They all do slightly different things, but uh, just be aware that this will double the speed of all your loops. So go here and hit double speed. Okay. Now you see like, hey, it seems a little bit different. It added more notes in there. So let's listen to it now. And there's our 7-8 feel. So let's listen to the 4-4 four, four feel once again. Now the same beat in 7-8. So you can see that's an easy way to do it. And if you already have it in there, you can uh, also maybe change the time signature and then double speed it if you've already made your beat in 4-4, four, four, for example. So there's an easy way to do odd rhythm. So if you're doing a beat in 4, like 5-4, that's already in there, so you don't need that. But if you're wondering, like, how, how do I do 7-8? That's how you do it. Okay, so moving on, let's do some polyrhythms. So these sometimes uh, give me confused between polyrhythms and uh, uh, polymeters, but in polyrhythms we're doing, for example, like triplets over uh, half notes, for example. So here I'm going to use bongos high and low. I don't know why I feel like using that. Uh, so let's clear these tracks, add in here conga high, 
and then conga low and so let's do a three over two feel so on the low i'll do on one and three like that beats one and three easy simple and now i'll go into this so here i have the triplets but one of the problems is you see if i just do triplets here it's like that doesn't really sound right that's not what i want but an easy way to calculate this to get uh with quarter note triplets is just count the groups of four so I'll count here now that's in triplets my uh, uh divisions rhythmic divisions so here one two three four one two three four one two three four now let's hear this. So it's going to sound like a, a hemiola, or it is a hemiola, I should say. And of course, if you think like, I like that, but I kind of want to change uh, the placement, you can go into here, just click this, and it'll highlight them all. And then I can just click on one and just drag it over like this. So I could do something like this too, slightly different. Or I can even move it like offbeat like this, which sounds even stranger. So you can see there's all sorts of things you can do with that. And we can make this more complicated if we want. So let's say we're going to switch back here and let's add more here. So let's add four and then let's add a more complicated rhythm here. So you see we have like a uh, uh, with the quarter notes here but we also have triplets we have quintuplets was it sextuplets or septuplets i forget which one uh so let's try this it's probably be a little bit strange but we can do the same thing and if you notice like ah this is a little bit small go here and we can actually make this a little bit bigger just so we can see and we're going to use that same trick again where we count in four so one two three four 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 and we should have seven now one two three four five six seven so now let's listen to it So to be honest, this isn't my favorite, but you kind of get the idea of what you can do with this. So I wanted to show that. Uh, let's do the more simple version. Let's do go back to triplets here and put in that hemiola again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's play this again. Okay, so we have this, and now let's do some polymetric stuff. I showed a little bit of a little bit of this before in a previous video, but I'll show you again just in case you forgot. So what I'm going to do here is I have this rhythm, and on another channel here where it says channel two, I'm going to make a different rhythm. So instead of four four, let's do something in three four, and let's use some different instruments. Uh, maybe I'll use shaker and. I don't know, tambourine, I guess. Okay. And so here I can just do something. Let's keep it somewhat simple. So I'll do... Okay, something like this. And I'll just put the shakers on the between beats, or the beats in between. And let's play this, hear what it sounds like. Okay, so there we have it. So on channel two, we have this. Actually, let me copy this to make it just easier for myself. Copy here and move this to beat C and paste it here. Uh, delete unused tracks. Okay, so there we go. So that one we have on channel two and we have this on channel one. So you think, okay, how do I use it and get them to play together? So I can use the song mode, but I'll show you how to use the MIDI command mode, which I prefer using. Uh, so let's insert a MIDI item here. I'll make this somewhat long here. So we have a little bit of time to play with. And now let's go into here and 
going to need to go down and trigger this somehow. I believe it's CC1. I usually have a template set up to do this easily, but uh, just insert a note here. Okay, and you're noticing that's triggering channel one, but you're thinking, how do I trigger channel two? And the channels actually correspond to MIDI channels. So I can put one up here like this. You see there's nothing else here, so it's going to trigger whichever the closest one is since it's C-sharp, it's just going down to C, but it's still on channel one. So to go to channel two, I'm going to right click here and you see no properties in Reaper and you just change the channel to two and apply. And so now this is going to trigger the second one. So let me make this a little bit longer just so you can see it and I can move it down. There we go. So now it's actually triggering the second loop. And when I play them together like this, both are going to play at the same time. So you can hear the 3-4 bar and the 4-4 bar at the same time. There you go. To be honest, I probably shouldn't have used that hemiola. That kind of sounds bad. Let me <laughs> erase this. Uh, let me do a, a more sane beat. So I'll just add something in between here. Uh, something a little bit more interesting. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Here we go. Something like this. Okay. One more time. There we go. So using the triplets with this different uh, polymetric stuff, eh, to me, doesn't sound that good. But of course, you can do it if you like. But I hope this gave you some ideas of how you can expand your you know, rhythmic knowledge and things like that. And don't be afraid to use the different channels. So if you're use, doing like a complex piece, uh, like some prog rock or something, you can use each channel for different time signatures and trigger them like this using the MIDI control method to change between different time signatures because all these channels will use the same drum set. So there you go. Okay, so I hope that helped you out. If it did, give me a thumbs up, uh, leave me a comment down below and check out all the other plugins at meldaproduction.com. Till next time, see you.